llámenme al güerito y a su amigo el guapo, porque aquí encontré otras ratas peores. It's about the birth of narco trafficking in the world. We are telling the story of cocaine from inception to the present and dealing with the real people. Our way in to this world is through these two DEA agents, Steve Murphy and Javier Peña. Peña and, and Murphy are real characters. They are the two DEA guys that were instrumental to challenging the Medellin cartel. Steve's the gringo. He went down to the lion's den himself. I didn't come all the way down here, Penny, sit on the fucking sidelines. Javier Peña is a Mexican-American who's bilingual, and I think that, that was an enormous advantage for him. I want you to meet our new DEA, Steve Murphy. Got me It's a historical fact that Pablo Escobar and the Medellin cartel were responsible for the inflow of cocaine into America and Europe. So I actually didn't choose to begin with Escobar. It began with Escobar in real life. He's a very contradictory character. He loved his family. He's still loved by a lot of people in Medellin and he's still one of the most terrible killers in modern history. Me gano la vida haciendo negocios, así que pues fresco. Plata o plomo. There are so many true events in this story that if you saw them in a movie, you wouldn't believe them. Season two is destruction. Everything comes down, everyone is compromised. Escobar's got a lot of enemies. And these people don't play around. I feel that Pablo is the victim of the second season. He's been hunted by basically everyone. There are dozens and dozens of rival dealers who are waiting to take Escobar's place. So are you a big movie fan? Well, I've got some interesting movie facts for you. Did you know that over 90% of American movies made before 1929 are lost? No copies are known to exist. Now that's a big shame. Okay, now think about the movie The Godfather. It's all about the mafia, no? Well, the word mafia is never mentioned in the film because the actual mafia demanded it. 
This next one is really interesting. Did you know that Pulp Fiction, uh, Forrest Gump, the Shawshank Redemption and the re-release of Jurassic Park were all in theaters at the same time in October of 1994? Now, that would have been a hard choice uh, of what to watch or you would have had a busy month at the cinema. The first one I would have seen was Pulp Fiction. What about you? Which one of these was or still is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.